In this third episode, we discuss how to use Rumi Hue Wizard to measure the base nodes along the length of your room. In the previous two episodes, we described why we're doing that and how we're doing that, but follow along with me, Mr. Scott Lylander. These are high fidelity, good vibes, and this is room play. When we use Rumi Q Wizard, we want to use the real time analyzer function, which is on the left, and we want to use the tone generator. Currently, we are using a pink random noise full range at minus 12 dB full scale uh, amplitude level. Now, that is just the default amplitude level. And my, my pre-amplifier has a gain of 62.5 dB. It doesn't really matter how loud your test tone signal is, but I would recommend that you have it the average volume that you would play your music at. So what we're going to do here is we're going to measure the frequency, the, the, the real time frequency of my room at seven feet, three inches from the reference point. We're going to measure it. Then we're going to overlay that with 20 other measurements that I've take, I've collected, and we're going to figure out which is the most linear position to locate your seat at. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I've located my microphone. I'm going to reset my averaging and I'm going to play the pink noise. Now this is going to saturate the microphone here. Uh, so you'll just be able to see what's going on. When I play the, the test tone, I'm going to start recording. I'm going to wait for 50 averages, and then I'm going to stop the recording, and then I'm going to turn off the test tone. Okay, I am going to save that current data. And then I'm going to go into the REW where I have all of my measurements. I'm going to rename that center pink noise at seven feet, three inches from my reference point. And then let's go ahead and look at that in the overlay graph. So here's the overlay and we're starting with a with the center pink noise at two feet and then one foot six, one foot, and then moving on from two and a half feet all the way to to ten feet. Here's the measure here's the measurement we just collected together at seven feet, three inches. Now, what we want to do is we want how we use this graph is we look at where would be the most linear response to place our listening position. And currently this location right here is pretty good. What you can see is it's not really hitting the limits of the frequency response graph. And specifically, there are a lot of lower nulls that we could hit, which would add a lot more cancellation 
to our signal. We can always use a, a digital signal processing to pull our peaks down, but we can never use a DSP to correct a null. A null is just a location where there is no response and it is practically impossible to correct for a null. So seven feet, three inches looks like a really good spot. You can see that there are no major, we're not down in the weeds in the 70 to 80 Hertz zone. We're not down in the weeds at the 100 to 110. We're not down in the weeds at 130. And we're not down in the weeds at 160. If we take a look at the nine foot seating response, you can see that we're down in the weeds at 110 and also around 170. And if we take a look at the three feet, which would be very near field, uh, but at three feet, you can see that we have a significant dip at 69, 70 Hertz. So we wouldn't want to listen there. Now, it is very interesting because I was listening yesterday near field at approximately four feet. And I was really enjoying the music. I was really enjoying the direct sound I was getting from the loudspeakers. There's definitely less reflected sound in that portion. But we're going to expand on these learnings to describe how can we leverage our flattest location for the for our anchor point. That's where we're going to have our seat and we're going to adjust our speakers around the flat position. And how can we get that perfect stereo response? I do believe that the seven foot three inch position is where I'm going to locate my anchor spot. So stick around for episode number four. We're going to continue this journey on room play. I want to give a shout out to Stephen Dahl and Jim Smith of Get Better Sound.